Hi folks, today we're talking about the iconic Kodak Brownie Hawkeye flash camera from circa 1950. I'm gonna do a fast overview, including usage of the flash. To see your subject, you look through, it's called waist level viewing. Do you see that image? Mm -hmm. So when you get this camera, it may have the flash on it, the flash detaches. So for purposes of overview of the camera, I'm gonna take the flash off just comes right off. These are all over the place. So if you find one, the first thing you want to do is to do a fast test. Open up the film compartment. You open the back of the camera. This applies to any box camera that you may find. Uh, looking through the back of the camera, you simply fire the shutter. You see, oh, see that? That means your shutter is properly working. So that's great. This camera takes 620 roll film, which is readily available from the film photography project store. When you get your camera, make sure there's a take-up spool in it. Film is light sensitive, so you don't want to ever expose the actual film portion without getting it developed first. But just so you see, this is a test roll. 620 film rolls out. Yeah, there is the actual film. And on the back of 620 is numbers. To load your camera, you simply put your film into this slotted area. That kind of just snaps in. There are two prongs that hold the film. You take the leader or the end, you wrap it around to your take-up spool. And then most film has like a guide. So that's terrific, it's loaded. Put your camera back together. Uh, relatch it, like so. Your film is in your camera. You keep it in your camera until you're done with the roll. And you advance your film by looking through this red window and rolling your film until you see the number one. Number one! Uh, it's easy to pass the number one. So roll it very slowly because if you miss the number one, there's no going back. Now, by the way, I recommend 100 ISO film, whether you're shooting in daylight or using the flash. That is the recommended ISO for this camera. Ah, number one. Number one! Once you press your shutter with this camera, this is test film, so you've taken your picture. And with this camera, be careful because if you forget to roll to the next Ooh. frame, you will double expose. So come up with a plan for yourself. Like you say to yourself, hey, after I take my picture, I'm going to roll to the next frame so that you know, you know, that's your, your system, right, John? Yes. 12 square pictures with this camera. It rolls the film to the other spool. And when you're done, you take the spool out, you seal it and then send it to your favorite photo finisher, like the darkroom.com. If you're shooting in shade or if the person you're shooting is uh, sun's behind them and you need uh, some light in their face to get beautiful pictures, I highly recommend the flash. Oh. Code light flash holder. This flash takes two C batteries. These are C size batteries. Now they are available at any supermarket. I know you're thinking, what? To put the batteries in your camera, you have to open up this little thing here. I'm using a paper clip. You could use a dime. Okay, there are instructions in here. It says battery base down. Okay, easy enough, right? So battery, this is the base of the battery. Battery base down, great. Your two C batteries in there, terrific. If you shoot a roll or shoot a few rolls and then put it in your camera on the shelf, remember to remove the batteries if you're gonna store your camera for any length of time. The flash attaches to the side of the camera right here. This goes on here. And then you just screw it in, very easy. So now that you have batteries in your flash, you're ready to take your first flash picture. Flash. If you wanna use the flash, you buy a box of flash bulbs and this camera takes either press 25 flash bulbs. It doesn't matter if it's B or not, just press 25 or 5B flash bulbs. One flash per bulb. The flash bulb simply, if you see there's a slot here with like, almost see where like the, lines yeah, up. it lines up, it lines up like that. And then you kind of just press. Oh, did you hear that, John? Mm -hmm. It snapped. Satisfying. In order to fire the flash, you would just press your shutter. One, two, three. Ah! Heat. Once you take your shot on the top of the flash, there's like a little button here. Press that. <laughs> <laughs>
And now you're ready for your second flash picture. Just have plenty of bulbs available. Bulbs are available on ebay.com. And the pictures are so dreamy, so wonderful. I want to thank you for watching the video. That's the quick overview. Leave a comment down below or shoot me an email, michael at filmphotographyproject.com. And we'll see you really soon.